Hey guys, it's Bub here, and today we're going to be seeing what is the least amount of RAM we can run Windows 10 version 2004 on. Now, this is different from my typical type of video, which is the voiceover kind of information video, but I decided for this week's video I wanted just to see an experiment what is the least amount of RAM we can get Windows 10 to run on. Now, you may be familiar with this article. A developer was able to run Windows 10 on 192 megabytes of RAM which, if you think about it, really is not a lot. Um, especially when the requirement for Windows 10 32-bit, which is what we'll be using, is 1 gigabyte. Now, based on the background, I can assume that this is Windows 10 version 1909, and Windows 2004 comes with a whole bunch of new features, so can we get it to run on 192 megabytes of RAM and possibly beat this? That's what we're here to find out today. So if we go into our settings here, we can see that we have one processor core and one gig of RAM. There is nothing installed on here. The only thing in here is the Windows 10 ISO, the 32-bit. So we're going to see if we can get the installer to launch on just simply 256 gigabytes of RAM which it's definitely below the recommended and we only have one processor core so will the installer boot up into its so this is an immediate problem here so if we press enter windows setup we just get that so i think we definitely are going to have or configure windows with a gigabyte of ram and then slowly tweak it down and so here we are in our Windows 10 installation. I did not install VMware tools, nor will I be re or changing the resolution, mainly because of the, just in case that could use more RAM. So we're going to disable the startup um, things here, and there's nothing installed. This is a brand new install of Windows 10 2004. So, why don't we say that we're going to put this on 512 gigabytes of RAM, down from its 1024. So we're just going to keep cutting it in half. So again, 512 megabytes of RAM. Here we are, 512 megabytes of RAM on Windows 10 2004. If you looked in the performance before, you could see we were using 712 megabytes of RAM out of the gigabyte and then it automatically cut it down to 466. This is kind of incredible. I didn't think we I don't I didn't think we'd get this far, but as you can tell this system is very very slow. So instead of waiting for it to shut down, I'm just going to force shut it down and we're going to change this again 256. So we just went through the sign on, the when or when you signed in. And now I am here at a black screen. So, oh wait, nope. I pressed Control Alt Delete. I was gonna, there we go. But we are in Windows 10 with 256 megabytes of RAM. Now keep in mind, this is Windows 10 2004 32-bit. Um, if you didn't watch it already, I recommend watching my what um my 32-bit video that i uploaded last week i did not think that we would get this far i mean obviously this is not usable by any means i would not use this for a, for even anything you see how long it's taking to load the the task manager alone and now it's not responding but we are 256 megabytes of ram 32-bit windows 10 version 2004 which is the may 2020 update and look we're only using 87 percent of our memory 96 so actually what our bottleneck or what our not never mind it was our cpu which i can up the cores on the cpu in the virtual machine but right here 256 megabytes of memory so we can't really cut this in half because the current record per se is 192 so we're going to drop this down to 192 megabytes of ram and then we're going to see just what happens so 192 megabytes of ram we're here on the black screen and yet again wow i i wonder how long it's going to take us just to load task manager so this is currently the record i don't even know if it's really a record but i remember back in april this was a big thing that a developer was able to get windows 10 on 192 megabytes of ram so we're there right now and this is even a newer version of windows 10 than what they used the fact that 
Windows 10 is able to boot on 192 megabytes of RAM says something. I mean, obviously it's not usable, but the fact that we can get it to boot into the desktop environment is really says something for Microsoft. How they're able to, of course, is not usable, but how they're able to do this is really incredible. We're going to try to go lower. The article says it was partially booting with as little as 100 and 40 megabytes of RAM. Let's try 140. Because you saw that our processor is throwing us issues, we are going to up it to three processor cores. Um, maybe this will do something, maybe not, I don't know. But we are at the Windows logo. Okay, so we did blue screen at bad system config info. So let's try 155, or 156, because it won't let me do 155 megabyte. And okay, so we have a different error this time. There's not enough memory to create a RAM disk device. So I'm just gonna try 192 again. Oh, I meant to put that at one processor core. And we're just gonna, if it does that error again, I'm gonna have to up it to, okay. So it looks like we're booting there. So we wanna shut down. Let's try 180. I think we're going to try to go down in increments of 10. See how low we can go. So there's not enough memory to create a RAM disk. So, okay. Or 188. 4 megabytes less than what the other person was able to get it to boot on. So far, 188 megabytes is the limit. We have 10 meg... Whoa. We have 10 megabytes roughly left, and it's varying... So let's go 186, 184, 184 megabytes of system memory. Can I even get task manager? I'm not sure if task manager will run. I just did a control alt delete. Now as notice, as we keep going down, the system gets slower and slower and slower. So obviously this isn't functional as a day-to-day -day sort of operating system. Um, if your computer does have 192 megabytes of RAM and you're trying to run Windows 10 on it, don't. I've so far beaten the other person who I tried to go to their Twitter account and for some reason their tweets are protected. So I'm going to let it go down to whatever it'll let me. So let's try 182 and it goes straight down to 180. Now just as a reminder, the Windows XP minimum requirements were 128 megabytes, and I don't think we're gonna be able to get there. This is 180 megabytes of RAM, and obviously I'm not gonna try to launch an application. The only application I want to launch would be Task Manager. And so I think I've reached the maximum, or the least amount that I could boot on. I can't actually do anything. If I try to load the task manager, it throws an error because there's not enough memory. However, this is 172 megabytes of RAM. And see, it just finally showed up, and if I run task manager, it's gonna take at least another 10 minutes to try and load the task manager, and then it's just gonna throw an error. So if we go to, let's say, 168, this is going to throw us a blue screen, I believe, or it should throw us a blue screen. So as you can see, 176 megabytes of RAM is being very slow to even load the taskbar icons in, but I did click on, con or, uh, I did click on the task manager and it should be loading soon, soon maybe in 20 minutes. But hopefully we can get the task manager to show the screenshot. So we are 16 megabytes under what the other developer did. They are at 176 megabytes of RAM. So this is interesting. The, there we go. Um, when I said that, it wasn't actually loading for some reason. And it just said 0 out of 0. But now it says 176. Which is... Wow. So... Yeah, wow. All right, so now Task Manager is just not responding at all. So, yeah. That's going to be the end of this video. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new around here and you like this type of content. Um, I typically don't do this. I do more informational stuff. But if you guys like this video, I will definitely consider switching to more stuff like this. 
Anyway, guys, make sure to like and subscribe if you're new around here. I don't really do experiments like this, but I do do voiceover stuff. Just go watch some of my other videos if you want it to make sense. Um, the conclusion on this experiment is do not use anything under a gigabyte of RAM on Windows 10. And even if you do have a gigabyte, it'll still make you mad, um, let alone 176 megabytes. So, yeah, I didn't think we'd get this low, 176 megabytes of RAM, but we are and Wi-Fi is not even loading. It seems like the sound drivers, there's no, their sound drivers just quit. Um, so 170, 176 megabytes actually usable, but we could get it to boot on 172, and we got the spinning logo at 168. So that is, I think that's pretty incredible. So like I said, anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.